Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here, and just me and the critter, Brad is at work. It is December 14th, 2016, Wednesday evening. It is 6.28 p.m. Um, it's been, it's already late, I know, much later than normal. But when I tell you guys why, you'll, you'll understand. Um, it's that time of year, right? Let me pull up the weather real quick. It's 68 degrees, real fill 69, high be 73, and the low was 51. Um, let me pull out my cheat notebook. I wanted to say thank you to everybody that sent cards. There's more going over over this way. Um, and then Leanne Live sent in her uh, sent me a Christmas card, and her mom makes these out of plastic canvas. Uh, ornaments aren't they the cutest thing ever i used to plastic canvas a long time ago really loved it but i wasn't that great at it honestly because i don't know i'd mess uh, i mean i was really young but i would mess it up but um this is i really love these so thank you so much and i'm going to be hanging on to that um Yesterday was a crazy day. I was we were on a big push or I was on a big push to finish all the Christmas gifts I had one more knitted octopus to get done um, And these are quite big. They're probably uh, Probably at least 18 inches in in span um, And they're um, loom knitted and it's a pattern I developed myself um, and uh, It took longer than than I expected because of the carpal tunnel, um, but uh, I was happy with how it turned out. I'm going to show you guys the finished picture. You can't really see real well, but that's how it turned out. And you see on the, down on the lake the how, how I have the curlies and stuff. So, yeah, this all um, stuffed and made to sit on a bed. So... Got that done, um, and when Brad got off at one, we laid down, take sh took short little naps, and then he cooked dinner, and then he helped me. He sat and did all the Christmas cards. Well, I did a few. I take that back. I did maybe seven or eight, but he did all the other ones. He's always great that way. And then he helped get. He he helped um, wrap stuff. And, oh, I don't really wrap stuff, but, you know, I like to wrap my stuff in tissue paper and label stuff, get stuff ready for shipping. I couldn't have done it without him. And um, I really, really appreciate that. Uh, you know, and he said, well, it's the least I can do. He said, you make all these gifts because everything that went out was made by me, except for the candy for the kids. Everything else was made for me. Well, and the money that I gave for the grandkids, too. I always put some money in their cards so that they can go. Because, yes, I like to make them stuff. But I know they, you know, kids always enjoy having some money. Who doesn't to go pick up something they like? And that way I figure they can go after Christmas when there's the sales and maybe pick up something that goes with a toy that they got. Or, you know, my granddaughter is a teenager now. Pick up, you know earrings or an outfit that she wants or something you know or put it with other money they get to get that item that maybe cost more money so um we had a ton of shipping that went out today uh, we i we worked until 1 a.m i finally finished that octopus at 1 a.m and then i still had cards to do and we had to sort everything out because you know i have had different gift boxes and gift bags for my daughters and then my grandkids, our grandkids and stuff, so, you know, but, um, uh, and we couldn't close those up because we had to go to the ATM to get cash out to put in these envelopes, so, uh, we did that today, um, and like I said, we were so tired, but then we were still wired because we hadn't had the downtime, and I had a nine o'clock, uh, therapy appointment, it was like a behavioral therapy um, uh, and it's part of the fibromyalgia program that they want to make sure that you are, um, okay, um, uh, uh, mentally and stuff. So, um, uh, I had that to go to and, um, he said he didn't see why I needed to, to go into therapy that, you know, uh, 
I was doing all the right things and and uh, was on a good track and stuff to, you know, give them a call if I if I thought I was uh, spiraling down where I needed help. But the adjustment with the Lexapro has has helped, you know, just that slight adjustment and um, everything. So I feel pretty good, you know, and getting better pain management. I feel pretty good now and stuff, and I'm able to actually be more active. So. And that's what I wanted. So, um, I had him laughing and stuff. And he didn't believe that, um, I am shy around people and I'm reserved. And I have a hard time around people until I explained that if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I'm fine. But if it's like a group and stuff, you know, I'm well, much more likely to hang way back and stuff. So, um, but yeah, it was good to know. I came out there and told my husband, I am not crazy, so there. And he just laughed. Um, I guess that was that's my fibro uh, update for today is um, I was very, very sore, of course. And it was from the hours and hours of sitting um, with uh, working on the loom knitting and stuff. I didn't get up and move around as much. Um, and... You know, the carpal tunnel was very inflamed from doing so much looming um, at one time, but it was worth it. Um, stomach, I had no stomach issues or anything, so it was a good day. I mean, you know, the pain was under control. I mean, like I said, I was in a lot of pain when I got up, but it rained all last night. And like I said, had had done so much stuff because, uh, you know, uh, it was... It wasn't just constant sitting because I was up and down because, you know, Brad didn't know where I had, like, the tissue paper. He didn't know where I had all the blank Christmas cards. He didn't know where I had all this uh, candy and stuff for the kids, you know, kind of the stocking stuff or stuff I had gotten, the grandkids and stuff. So, you know, and then trying to kind of work around very, very hard in an RV. You think it's hard in a house very, very hard in an RV when you're trying to wrap stuff or, you know, wrap it, tissue paper, sort stuff out. Whew! But we got it done. So, um, it was a good day. Um, we still need to finish, <coughs> excuse me, we still need to finish our little bit of stuff for each other. You know, we both still, because we kind of always predetermine how much we're going to spend on each other for Christmas. And we, we decide that together. And like I said, everything we do is cash. And uh, next, and I'm not looking down on anybody that does it any other way. That That's totally up to you what you do with your finances. Um, but uh, we still have about 25 on each other that, you know, you pick up the little whatnots, you know, like the gift packs. Or maybe you pick up your spouse's favorite candy or maybe... You know, their favorite cologne or, you know, maybe you pick up new slippers for them or whatever. So, we'll do that next week because this week the shipping the shipping was expensive. We knew that. Uh, we had a lot of packages going out <laughs> all over. I mean, from, from from this coast to the, to the west coast and all the way up this coast and all the way in the middle. So, um, you know, uh, Brad had... <laughs> Heaping, heaping armful of packages, and he had a big box full of all of the Christmas cards and, and smaller packages and stuff. So anybody that had anything that was going out, like Dawn, Ken, Mary, Emily, Max and Roe, uh, my adopted son and his family... Uh, my brother-in-law, of course, my, our children and grandkids. I was lucky there. I put everything in one big box because they all live in the same area. And then my youngest daughter will dole it all out. Everything got the gift tags and stuff on it. So, you know, and then, because, and, you know, I so said, you'll make sure your sister and, 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 uh, and, uh, uh, and her son get their present. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was very nice. And stuff. Saved us a little bit of shipping and stuff, too, that way. Uh, and uh, so, uh, I know there were some other ones. I can't remember. I can't remember now. 
But if you had anything coming out, you know, all the paintings I was going to, you know, do, I shipped and all the, you know, letters and all the gifts and everything, everything, I'm, the house looks kind of bare now. No, it doesn't, but at least now I don't have all the gifts in my house. So, um, what, what my topic for today is just t to relax about Christmas and not, don't overextend yourself. Christmas is supposed to be, I know it's part of it, the Harry Carey bringing stuff together, and we all have to do that normally in some degree, but don't make yourself miserable about, about it. If it's really something that's going to make you miserable, then maybe not do it, or maybe say, just say honestly, you can't do it. And sure, there's going to be times that there's people that are, are going to be mad and stuff years ago. I had this one friend of mine, and I was really afraid this was going to happen with her, that um, she wanted me to help her uh, plan her, uh, her, with her daughter's graduation party, and I, you know, this was before I was, you know, diagnosed with fibromyalgia or anything, and I had already had to quit work, but I just couldn't physically keep up, and I finally had to say, you know, I can't do that. Um, and she just blew up and, you know, and was so mad and just figured I planned it and, you know, and it's like, no, and I mean, you know, which is really too bad you would have thought she would have been more understanding because she had lupus, but, um, she just felt like I just didn't want to do it and I, you know, and it's like, well, I'm sorry, you know, and, and over the years, <clears throat> that's happened a number of times with people I hope now that a lot of people and they probably won't ever know back uh, back in Wyoming that a lot of times why I had to say I was, I was uh, going to quit doing things was because it was turned out because of the fibromyalgia I mean there is a reason why um, but I think they maybe thought I just didn't want to because I used to be very active I used to bowl I used to be in like four different bowling leagues a week and stuff. I was a, I was pr pretty active, you know, and all very involved in the grandkids stuff and and um, uh, you know uh, did a lot of lot of different physical activities and stuff. And then you know, little by little, you have to slow it down. But relax about Christmas. It's supposed to be a joyous time, and if you can't afford gifts, it's okay. You know, a friend of mine was stressing out about Christmas and stuff, and they're short on money and, you know, got a bigger list of of, of uh, friends and family that they they want to do gifts for than, than the money is. And I have extra ruffle scarves that I've made up, you know, and I just selected like seven random ones and gave them to her and said, here, will this help? Because, I mean... I bought the ruffle yarn on sale anyway. They're easy and quick to do. You know, and it's like, I'm, you know, here, just have these. You know, I wasn't going to charge or anything for them. And I'm like, if this helps, because, you know, you feel bad if you can't afford a gift and you know somebody's going to give you one. If it helps, here, you know. You know, and I thought she, you know, she was, she was very, very grateful and stuff. But it's like, you know, that's what friends are for. I mean, you know, I've got these sitting around. They needed homes anyway. You know, I can make more. I can an excuse to make more. So, you know, um, and I know other friends and family have, like, overextend yourselves. And because and, you, you get kind of committed into doing things, you kind of get guilted into it. These people don't care if you enjoy doing it or not. They just want somebody to do it. But if it's overextending you or it's making you, you just so frayed and just so thinly stretched, you know, that's not good for you. you got to take care of yourself, too. Uh, I learned that the hard way years ago, um, you know, because I was one of those that said yes to everything, too. And I then, then when I started to have to say no to things, is when people assumed that I just didn't want to be part of stuff anymore. And it's like, no. That's not it, you know, but, um, 
uh, anyway, I just want to come on here and say hey and say I love you guys and I do cherish your friendship. Hang in there. You got, you know, 11 days till Christmas officially. I would say 10 because it's the evening up. So, you know, it'll be over pretty soon. So, um, and I think you guys are awesome and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.